Unfucking believable. We're back again for the third time. Apologies. Well, I don't know what causes it, but we're not minimizing again. For some reason, when I stream, I cannot minimize UT or it re my computer resets. I have no idea what the deal with that is, but that's fucked up. So back into it, it is uh, SD with a slight lead, still five corners, very close. So it's a good sign for FSG coming uh, condemn close here. They do hold all three points right now. And what is the barrage battle at lockpick? 17. 17 is a 23 for Putsy, so Putsy still uh, the slight edge over lockpick right there. We haven't checked in on the roof at all. It's where is Mr. Riven? Here he is. How's roof going? What do we got? 12, 17 for FSG to the 20 of of SD, so SD with a very slight lead on rooftop. Not much, though. And they might be losing that right here. It's Riven doing a nice job on the roof right now. The lead has grown, though, up to about 10 now for SD. You guys can hear me, right? At least tell me something else didn't get fucked up on the reboot. It's very strange. I don't understand it. Like, if I'm not streaming, I can minimize UT, no problem. But for some reason, when I'm streaming, if I minimize UT, my computer reboots. I... I I have absolutely no idea what would cause that. Ah, you like the, uh... You like the settings. Very good, Asa. Very good. So the lead is about 10. Where is it coming from? It's probably coming from, uh... Arturo's, right? Yeah, 34... 34 to 23, so yeah, that's the 10 point lead, and that is that is the lead in the game. As Rooftop and uh, Garage are pretty much even. That is a nice Ultra by Putsy right there, and they do hold all three, and they are coming back right now. They're only down five points. So that is the big difference for SD right now, is that uh, Arturo's point. Carlisi doing a good job over there. Josh starting to come back a bit though, he's down about 7 points over there, and SD holding all 3 points right now. So we watch Carlisi, he's done a nice job so far. It does look nice, I usually don't play with it like this, I usually hit the alt key and have the graphics drop down to shit mode when I'm playing, but I think for streaming this looks a lot better. The odd time I will play with it like this too, it can be good. So it's quite the back and forth. And even if uh, FSG loses this map, I think it's a good sign if they keep it close like this. Because I would imagine this would not be one of FSG's stronger maps, and they're doing a pretty nice job. All three points held by Red right now. Ten point advantage, and just under 13 minutes left to go on the first map. It is crazy how much they've improved, yeah. We saw them lose to some weaker teams in the group stage. They had seven, what was it, seven map losses in the group stage. Barely even made the playoffs. And, uh, 
Since playoffs started, they've uh, been a hell of a lot better. They have been practicing a lot. They've been uh, doing a lot of scrims. And that has definitely paid off. Well, Extreme is quite good on the garage, let's be real. Until he played Lockpick here. I was actually surprised DF didn't make the uh, playoffs. The team was pretty good. How is Mr. Spirit doing? 18 points on the roof, 36 frags flow. 65 frags. Riven, uh... Far and away the most frags up on the roof here with 83. They got, uh... What? 35? 35 to 49. So, uh, Riven and Freeman actually are losing roof pretty heavily now. Despite Riven having the most frags. And SD is holding all three points, and they're starting to pull away here. FSG was keeping this close for some time, but uh, SD is starting to pull away a bit. They got about a 20 point lead right now. What is this matchup to? 50 points on Garage for Lockpick to the 47 of Putsy. So Lockpick has now taken a lead on Garage. He was losing it to Putsy for the first half of the map, but has brought it back now. Undefeated in matches, yes. They are not undefeated in maps, though. They have lost two maps. SD has. They lost one to CF and... I can't remember who the other one was. And that's just group stage. Playoffs... Uh... I don't think they lost a map in their first match. So 168 to 149. Lead is getting heavy for SD right now. Not insurmountable, but uh, FSG going to need to uh, bring it back a little bit. What is the uh, Arturos matchup at now? 58 for Cry Lizzie to the 53 of Josh. So Josh still keeping that close over there. And Garage is close as well. Only a one point advantage for Lockpick. So it's actually Rooftop now that's. What is that? 45 to. Oh, to 60. So yeah, it's actually Rooftop. That is winning the match for for SD right now. I did not expect that. Usually it's their solo points that are winning matches for them. Between Logpick and Crylisi, but those two are pretty much even or close to it. It is uh, Spirit and Flow that are the big difference right now on the roof. Beating Riven and uh, Furry Man pretty badly up here. Blue holding all three points right now. They need to do this for a bit. They can come back. 170 to 183 now, 13 point lead. And they're still holding. This is big. Starting to come back right now. That lead shrinking away rapidly for SD. Less than 10 point lead now. That's right. They lost campgrounds to uh, to D. That is the other one. That's right. So a bit of a bounce back there by FSG. They're just still down 11, but lots of time left, just under 8 minutes. So trying to battle back here. Let's watch Putsy once more in the garage battle against Lockpick, and that is a good spawn by Mr. Pick there. And he's going to pick up some assistance from Josh, but Josh bleeding on his own point. And Lockpick kills them both anyway. Boots are up. You know Lockpick's going to grab those. See if he jumps up to assist Roof here in a moment. Looks like he, uh, he does finally see Putsy. Did not see him dodge down over his head there initially. All three points held by SD, and they're 
starting to get that lead back again. All three points still held by SD. And it's quite the back and forth. SD has been building a 20-30 point lead and then FSG seems to crawl back a bit. Uh, they have not really had the lead though at any point in this game. Probably see 70. Oh, that Arturos is actually tied now. Josh brought that back. He's actually in a tie matchup on Arturos. Let's check that out with Crylizzi. So that's pretty big. The Garage 75 for Lockpick to 62 of Putsy. So Lockpick's starting to pull away a bit over there. But Josh has brought uh, Arturos back. This is about tied, right? Uh, yeah, dead tied at 72 apiece. Right here, Crylizzi going to pull away a little bit right now. The lead is about 30 points total, though, combined for the team of SD. With six minutes left, so... Looking good here, and since we've been watching Crylizzi, he has not dropped the point here, and he's going to get that lead back. Over Josh. Did a nice job. Was picked off by Riven finally, but can they tag that one? Still held. It was just tagged by Josh finally, so... Let's watch Riven on the rooftop for a little bit here. And then maybe we'll check in with uh, Flo. I don't think we've watched him at all. Two of them doing a pretty good job on the rooftop. It is only uh, six, yeah, 64 points for my FSG on the roof to the uh, 76 of SD, so 15-ish point lead on the roof. And I actually expected FSG to do a bit better up here with Riven. Um, but it is the furry man lacking a bit in the fray department, but he does have 10 more than Spirit, so... Overall, frag-wise on the roof, they have way more FSG, but point-wise, not reflecting that. Let's check out Flo. Not watched him yet. I haven't really seen Flo play much at all in general, to be honest. Don't know much about him. I know he's a weapons player. And he's been doing a pretty good job. All season long for SD. Always playing the two-man point. With his good old pal, Spirit. See him just crouch down here. Holding the angle. You can probably hear those footsteps coming from stairs, and he does, but it is taken out. Four minutes left, and the lead is about 20 still for SD. Looking poised to take map number one. This is, of course, their map pick, and you would expect them to win it. This is not going to be a shocking uh, victory on Condemned here by SD if they do hold on to it. Spirit battling the fur man. See who wins this one. Oh! Oh no, it was actually Riven. And uh, Flo took out both of them. Back with Cry Izzy. What is this up to now? He's got 85 on Arturos against 91 of Josh. So Josh brought it back again. Josh actually with a five point lead right now. Over here. Beating Cry Izzy and Lockpick. 92. To 80 on Garage, so about a 12 point lead for a lock pick over Putsy on Garage. So, Garage and Rooftop is what's accounting for the SD lead at the moment. And they do hold all three points right now. And with three minutes left, I do not see FSG being able to bring this one back. They're probably gonna have to hope they can do it on their map pick. Olden, which is going to come up after this. And I think that one is going to be extremely close. FSG has shown to be pretty strong on Olden, but I think SD is going to be pretty damn good there as well. Let's see what setup they go with. 
28 point advantage for SD, so almost surely gonna take map number one here. I'm not jumping in any voice, you know why? Because that would involve me minimizing my game, which will probably make my computer reboot itself again. I already have three separate VODs for this match. And on top of that, I don't even have access to their voice channels anyway, so... That is not gonna happen this time. And there you go from Deckel. And again, I wouldn't have done it anyway because uh, when I minimize while streaming, my computer reboots. If anyone has any idea on why that happens or how to fix it, that, I'd love to know. It's weird, it did it to me on my last stream too. It did it the one time and then when it rebooted, it was fine. I even minimized during that stream and uh, it didn't do it again, but it was two for two on this one, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk minimizing it again. Only 45 seconds left. And... FSG has brought it back a little bit. But I don't think they're going to have enough time here to uh, come back. Arturos, 98, Cry Lizzy. Josh, 109. He's actually going to win Arturos against Cry Lizzy in impressive fashion. But a 10 point uh, win over here. It's a nice job by Josh once more. Lockpick is going to win Garage over Putsy. 108 to 98. And that is the map one victory right there. Please tell me we're not switching servers because that would involve me minimizing. Actually, I'd probably just close the game. That would be the safe bet. I don't think we're switching servers, though. Going to move on to Olden now. That was a good close game. 24 point win. Yeah. Josh is very good. Uh, caught me off guard, that's for sure. I didn't I didn't really see him play I don't much at all. And uh I played the top malice against him in our match and he's very good. He's good at IDOM, who knew? So FSG gonna need to win Olden to force a tiebreaker map, which would be Lament. This is probably the best place we could put the camera on this map. So what do they do here? I know uh, last time, I think generally Riven plays low here. And... What is it, Josh to mid and Putsy and Furry Man top, I think is what they did last time. I wonder what they do, uh, SD here, because I I've seen Carlucy play mid on this map, but maybe he, he's probably gonna play low, I would assume. I'm actually not sure how SD sets up here. I'm gonna guess lockpick and spirit top. Cry Lizzy low and flow mid? That would be my best guess. I've seen Cry play low and mid here. I think since they're probably going to assume that Riven's going to be low, they probably will put Cry Lizzy down there. So I, I think the most logical is lockpick, spirit, top, flow, mid, cry, Lizzie, low. 
And then Putsy Furry Man top, Riven Low, Josh mid. That is my guess on the setup for both teams. Cry Lizzie always getting those good smiles, I know. Revan going to do quite well in low if he doesn't play there again, which I would assume. Has SD played Olden at all this season, group stage or playoffs? Does anyone know? I can't recall any off the top of my head, but I could be wrong. Waiting on Mr. Logpick to click it. <clears throat> and we are underway. We'll start off with Cried Lucy, see if he is in fact playing low. That is my my guess here. And it would appear, yes, he is playing low, and yes, it is against Riven. So that much we know. Let's find out who's playing mid. Putsy is on top. You see Lockpick up there. Furry Man trying to get up there. So it is Putsy, Furry Man, top for FSG. I'm guessing Lockpick Spirits. Josh is on mid. So yeah, it looks like exactly what we predicted for both teams is happening. Flow a bit lost looking here. Now he finds the back lift. Let's pick up Furry Man. And is Spirit playing mid now. I guess Spirit is on mid and f and uh, Spirit mid and flow top with the uh, log pick, I suppose. Early six point lead, by the way. Make it seven for FSG. Seventeen to ten is. Start it off right here. This should be a pretty close battle link on low between Carlisi and Riven. Early on, it's tied 5 5. Let's have a look at uh, Lockpick playing top here. Trying to kill Furry Man and does. They do have top control right now. I'm going to try to pick off mid, and he does pick off Josh. Good timing right there. And they are controlling top pretty well right here so far. It is a 31 to uh, 19 still advantage for FSG though, but they're starting to come back. Lockpick doing a great job up here. But a 10 point advantage overall still, but they are winning upper heavily at the moment. And this is a good position to play in by Lockpick right here. Control that small lift and and mid as he's doing very well. One away from dominating, I think, is lockpick. Oh, make it one more. Oh, he fell off. And there's the dominating as he falls. We'll keep it on lockpick till he dies, and down he goes, finally. It's a nice uh, upper play by lockpick right here. On fire is the pick right now. But it still is a uh, advantage overall for FSG. Where is that coming from? Lower, I guess? Where do we got here? 13 for Riven. Oh, he only has a one point lead over Cry Lizzie. So what? They're winning mid, that's what it is. They're winning mid 18 to uh, 8. Josh uh, doing quite well against Spirit, as you would expect, but I figured with the top control that Lockpick has had, that would reflect more in the mid position. But has not been the case as of yet. Let's watch Riven for a bit. In the Battle of Low. And 
Finally, Furry Man gonna pick off Cry Lucy there. Is River gonna hold right on the point at the moment? Did hear that spawn, and there's the pickoff there. 21 to 14, so Riven up by about 7 at the moment against Cry Lucy. And that's a big pickoff there before Lucy can tag. But did get a fortunate spawn of his own. Oh, and so did Riven right back. So, a nice little battle going on down here. Blue holding all three points right now, by the way. So check out Putsy and his top position. He's taken out immediately by Lockpick, though. It's going to come back small lift. They do have uh, almost a 30-point lead, though, FSG. Oh, bad time drop down there by Putsy, unfortunately. Does make it to the small lift, though. See if they can get a top back here. Where is Lockpick? Where is Mr. Flow? Oh, he was... Picked off from behind, actually, by Lockpick. This it came up small lift behind him. Does pick off Crylusi on his way, though, but... Lockpick holding that back lift up top. Let's watch him again. He's, his positioning on upper on Olden is quite nice. Both spots he plays uh, when he's watching uh, big lift and smaller have been very effective. And surely they have to be winning up, or what is the score up here? 26. So they got about 31 points to the... 21. So yeah, they do have a lead over Putsy and Furry Man up here. Of about 12 at the moment. But they are losing overall because mid... Josh is winning mid by a lot. Against Spirit, as he should be. And Riven does have... Uh, Actually, lower is tied, so... It's really just mid that FSG has the overall lead in right now. And a Rampage again by Lockpick. Having a great match. Here on Olden. But will it be enough as they're still down? Oh, I fell off the lift. Yeah, I think so. Brutality. I think they should probably try to focus helping mid a bit more than they have been, as they seemingly have had control of top most of the time, so they should be able to help out mid a bit more than they have been. Both going to attack in through backlift here. Spirit went down. And Putsy is picked off by Lockpick, and he's going to... Is he going to move over and help mid? It's still held by Blue. He's not moving over there, though. Now he does. And he does go back. He doesn't want to lose top control. Is there one, is one coming back lift? Oh, big kill by Flo there, preventing Putsy from tagging top. And they hold all three points, and SD is coming back in the match. They're only down by five now. As you see, Red is holding mid... It's funny, it's like whatever team has had control of upper, the opposite team has control of mid, which should kind of be the opposite, but... Let's watch Mr. Flow for a little bit here. It's going to be taken down by the putts. How's that low battle at now? 31 for Riven. To 37, Cry Lizzie. Six point lead down there. They're winning upper and lower, but they're still losing. It's all mid. Josh with 48 points on mid right now. And seems to be everyone has PL. Are we in IP6? It has been doing this lately. The PL, I'm guessing, will go away in a second here. Starting. It doesn't look like the PL is gone, though. Okay, I thought they'd wait till the PL went away. It looks like it's still there, though. Everyone has 20 to 30% back at loss, but they're still playing. I thought they'd wait a little bit. All three points held by SD, by the way, and they're starting to come back in the match. They're only down by five now. 
as it was uh, 20 to 30 point advantage for FSG for a little while there. Flow fell off. And yeah, like I, I have packed a lot too. The server's still lagging. I'm surprised we're not pausing it. It's still there. I don't know why they're playing like this. Cry Lizzy with a slight lead over Riven on lower, by the way. Let's watch him for a bit. They shot on Riven this time. Looks like Furry's trying to move over and help. Or is that Putsy? Was Furry, man. 11.40 left. Still a slight lead for FSG. They've had a lead the whole way, but... That lead has shrunk. But they do hold all three points right now. Probably Lucy trying to track down Ribbon was picked off actually by Lockpick. And they do have all three points back momentarily. Mid was just taken back by Josh. I haven't really watched the mid battle at all. It's I can't even switch players right now. This is so laggy. I might get disconnected here. I can't even switch players or anything. Okay, are we back? Okay. Alright. I think we're here. The server is lagging bad. Here's Josh. Picking up the majority of the points for uh, FSG. He's had a great match. He beat Cry Lizzy on Condemned on a Turos, and he's got 65 points on mid here. He is playing against Spirit, but still a good job either way. PL is gone indeed, finally. Hopefully that does not return. Nice double there by Josh. Was taken up by Spirit. Can he get him before he tags? No, it is brought back by Red. Watch Putsy for a bit on top with the Fur Man. They've only got 36 points on upper. FSG does 36 to 36 to 56. So a 26 point lead on upper. Lockpick and uh, Flo doing a great job up there as we've seen Lockpick with some great play. Let's watch him again. He's been the most entertaining one to watch. That lead, only four points now, by the way. Make it three. SD. They hold all three points. They're going to bring it back now. And they do have their first lead of the game. 183 to 179. So FSG was leading Olden. All map long, but... Uh, SD has brought it back, and it's largely due to the play of Lockpick. He's done an excellent job on upper. Cry Lizzy with almost a 10-point lead over Riven on lower as well. <laughs> it's true. Still anyone's game, though. There's just uh, over 8 minutes left. So... This could still go either way. FSG does have to win this to force a tiebreaker. If they lose Olden, SD is heading to the Grand Finals, and FSG is going to head down to the lower bracket finals. All three points held by FSG. They might get that lead back. Looks like they're probably going to. The game is actually tied now. What a close battle we have here in... So far, my prediction looking good, but that would involve FSG winning the map. So I did predict FSG to win Olden in a very close match, and... It is a very close match right now, that is for sure. Three-point lead by FSG at the moment.
Josh gonna pick up Spirit here in mid as well. See if he can take out Lockpick. He can't. It's gonna die to Spirit actually up there. See, top is held. Putsy actually, I don't think he intended to drop down there. It was actually Furry Man. That was a definite mistake. Did fall off a of top there. See Spirit trying to get back mid, and he did. I thought maybe Putsy might take him out before he could. All three points held by FSG. Let's watch Cry Lazy for a little bit again against Riven. That lower battle, 70 points for Cry Lazy, 64 for Riven. It's a slight advantage at the moment for Cry Lizzy. And only a one point advantage for FSG overall. But two points held. By SD. Six and a half minutes left to go. And this is a very close map, to say the least. This is going to come down to the wire. Might end up coming down to whoever's holding two points in the final seconds. Indeed, true, Deckel, and it might... I think that's going to be a very important factor on Olden right here. SD with a lead right now. So back and forth. Can't get any closer. IFSG going to pull up a bit here as they do have all three points right now. Is it same pace, Roomba? I, I don't know for sure what the answer is on that. I It feels to me what Deckel says is correct. From playing, that's what it seems like, but I actually I don't know for sure. See Lockpick uh, covering that big lift pretty well. Putsy unable to get to it. He's going to try to come up small lift this time. And can't get past Flo. See Josh getting mid back. And it was Spirit trying to pick him off. Couldn't do it though. Or Flo rather. They're not trying to contest Josh very much on mid. Who does have 95 points over there. That is the main reason that uh, FSG has been winning is mid. If, if their upper supports Spirit a bit more, I think that's going to be the key here. Game deadlocked at 250. Let's go back to... Let's go back to Lockpick. He's done a great job. He's got 61 points himself on Upper. 41 for... Uh, Flo oh, Lockpick fell off. Unfortunate. Over 100 points on Upper by uh, SD, by the way. Over 100 points. Uh, and FSG has only... Uh... Blah, 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 blah. About 55-ish, so that that is a massive upper has been dominated by SD. Huge lead there. 50 plus point lead for SD on the upper point. But the overall lead is still in the hands of FSG. A slight one as it is, four points. But is extending a bit here. Let's watch Riven on lower. Riven has brought this back, by the way. 83 to about to be 82. So pretty much dead even here on lower. So it's been kind of the battle of... FSG winning mid by a ton, and SD winning top by a ton. That's what it's coming down to, those two points. Wait, why did Riven get no points that whole time? He was at 81 when I first started watching him there. And it stayed on 81 for about 30 seconds. While he held it against Cry Lizzy. That's kind of weird. All three points held by uh, FSG. And they do have a... More of a substantial lead back. Almost 20 point lead. It is a 20 point lead for FSG. With two minutes left. So are they going to do it? Are they going to force the tiebreaker? It was very back and forth. 
SD coming back and taking leads of their own in this map, but it is FSG who's pulled away a bit in the final minutes here. And it looks like they might be able to do it. See Lockpick up there trying to assist mid, but he does not want to lose upper either. So Josh is still controlling that location. Three oh five to two eighty five. Just under two minutes left. It's gonna be close. SD holding all three points. Can they hang on? FSG. If you recall, FSG had a substantial lead against uh who was it? R, I think, uh in the group stage. And I think they had a twenty to thirty point lead. And ended up blowing it in the final couple minutes, so we'll see if the same mistake happens to them again, but not looking like it as they're holding all three points right now. And the lead is about 25 with only a minute left, so FSG looks like they're going to force a decider map in the battle for the grand finals right here. Oh, Putsy. Stealing the lift from Logpick just in time, and he knows he's going to be coming up behind him and does pick him off. And surely, FSG has this. They got a 28-point lead. 40 seconds left. Well played. Well played indeed. Twenty seconds left now. The cyber map will be Lament, by the way, and they're gonna they're gonna make it to Lament. They have a thirty point advantage with only twenty seconds left. Well done. It was a very close map here. SD had some leads in the game, but Josh with one hundred and eighteen points on mid, and Riven did end up actually winning lower by a fair margin. Crylesia was winning that most of the way, but Riven ended up winning that one hundred seven to ninety. And we're going to get the tiebreaker map. Yes, indeed, murder, that is true. I think we might be switching servers by the looks of it. I'm going to close my game and hopefully we don't reboot. Oh, we made it without rebooting. It's a fucking miracle. Okay. So I will await the server info. Lament should be interesting. Riven is going to play central against, uh, I'm assuming Cry Lizzie. That should be pretty close. Putsy and Furry against Flo and Spirit. I think Putsy and Furry should win lower. Top. Lockpick and Josh, I mean, you would think Lockpick would win that handily, but Josh has played very well. So, I think, well, we'll see. If Josh can keep that top point close, which I think he will, I mean, he he beat Krylizzi on Condemned, he won uh, mid on Olden by a lot against Spirit, but Nonetheless, if he can keep top close against Lockpick, I think Riven should slightly win con or, uh, Central rather against Krylizzi. And I think Lower should be won by FSG. So Lower might end up being the difference again. 
It's going to be close. Yeah, I think so, I said. That's probably the most logical. Are they just going into IP3 with no password? Is that what's happening here? Or? If, if password is going to be set, just uh, someone PM it to me. Password was set, of course. Okay, I'm exiting the game. Cannot risk minimizing. Just can't do it. Alright, I got PM by three people with the IP password. Thank you, thank you. And we will head in there now. Saboot! We are in to the tiebreaker map. On my fucking scoreboard. There we go. Well, best place for camera here, I suppose, would be here. If we can at least see two out of the three points. Predictions on the tiebreaker map. Well, I... I I'm just going to stick with my original prediction before the match started, which was, which has been uh, correct so far in SD winning Condemned, FSG winning Olden by a slight margin, and FSG winning Lament by a slight margin, so I'm going to stick with that. Of course, would not be surprised if SD did win here, though. I think Top is going to be critical. I think Top and Low are going to be the critical points, because I think Central is going to be close, regardless. Between Crylizzi and Riven. I think Riven might get a slight edge overall there. We'll see. Um, but I feel like FSG is going to win lower by a fair amount here. And so I think it's going to come down to how top and lower go, especially. SD by 20 is the prediction by Acid Slam. Could be. Could be indeed. Waiting on three more people to join the server. We are on a German server now, by the way. Which should be beneficial to FSG. Is something to point out. As three of their players are, of course, in Germany. Murder, you lost, uh, you lost low by a, a lot more than 10 points. You guys got absolutely dumpstered by Putsy and, uh, you and Waterkater got dumpstered by Putsy and Furryman here. That's why I feel like a similar thing might happen here. I think Putsy and Furryman are going to win lower by fair margin. And I think Central will be close. So, I think if Josh can keep top close, I don't think there's any way he's going to beat Logpick there, but if he keeps it close, I think FSG can win the match through lower. So that is going to be the key. Did not expect Lament to be the tiebreaker. This seems slightly better overall for FSG. FSG is good here, yep. FSG has a lot of maps that they really excel at. Cryptic, Olden, Lament. I think ISO's pretty good for them. Have not seen them play Garden or Final Hour aside from iMixes. Just 
Just waiting on Josh. So, let's see. I'm assuming the, the setup is going to be what we expect here. Cradley's is going to head over to Central against Riven. We'll confirm that first. And then we'll pretty much immediately know. So he is Central. Let's see who's going to come to him here. Surely Riven. And it is Riven. And we know Lockpick is going to be top against Josh. So... Going to be critical. It is the setup we expected. All three points held early on by SD, by the way. And it's going to be an early advantage. 7-1 to start it out. That's true, Deckel. Flow is a good fragger, so that, that is a good point. Might, might have a... Putsy might have a harder time there than he did against... Uh, Watercater and Murder, I think, surely. Lockpick uh, dominating top star off the map, by the way. Six points already to the only one of Josh. Josh has had a great match so far, but this is going to be a tall order playing top on Lament against uh, Lockpick. Oh, beneficial spawn for Lockpick right there. Took out Putsy in the low battle. It is currently held by SD and he could not take out Flow there. What is the current? We got 10. 10 to 4. So yeah, lower is already a 6 point advantage for FSG. This is going to be the critical point for FSG. They're probably going to win this by a lot again. What's Central at? 8 for Riven to 6. So it's kind of what I predicted. Central is probably going to be pretty damn close between Riven and Fry Lizzy. Lower is going to be won heavily, I think, by FSG. And then so it's really going to come down to... If FSG is to win, it's if Josh can keep top close enough. He is not going to win top, that's for sure. Nice double monster here by Putsy. 40 to 32. Forty to thirty-one, ten point advantage for FSG at the moment. Putsy hitting very well right now. Seventy-five efficiency, and he does very well here on lower. That is for sure. And the frag power is similar to against R. The frag power is just not going to be enough here to contest with with Putsy. Oh, nice pick off up top. Putsy on fire right now. Advantage coming in. Let's check in the central battle. Let's have a look at Riven. He's not going to suicide here. Now he does. He's going to help top briefly. And he, he's getting the. He's spawning like I do when I play central. Just perma on the back top side. And he's going to pick central back up here. What is this at? Wait, what is going on? Riven has 19 points. Of Why does Cryolizzy have 12 points on upper? Did they switch Lockpick and... They... I think Lockpick and Cryolizzy actually swapped. They did. They already made a switch. SD did. They moved Lockpick to central and put Cryolizzy top. I suppose it's a logical switch because Lockpick was obviously winning top by a lot, but... They were losing overall, and Cryolizzy must have been struggling with Riven, so... We're gonna try to offset that by... ...putting Cryolizzy top. Let's see if Josh is any better... ...against him. He should. So, Switch was made very early into the game. Don't usually see a swap that early on, but it happened. And I think it's a good Switch. They have started to come back. They're only down by six now. That's a pretty logical swap to make. Get lockpick against Riven to slow that pace on Central down. And that was the switch uh, that I and I said it during the cast that I thought R should have made was they should have moved Ram Drop to Central. 
to play against Riven and put Cubit top. I think that would have been their better switch. Instead, they put Riven to lower, which at the time, I could see why they did it, because lower was, of course, losing heavily. But I feel like if they had to stop the bleeding on central, I think top would have still remained close uh, between uh, Cubit and Josh. But in any case, SD is coming back. They're only down six now. Check out Lockpick's uh, play on Central here. Does have 21 points already on Central. He's in the 30 of Riven, so he's doing a good job over here. Nice kill right there. Lower is the big difference again here for FSG. What do they got? They got... Uh, Oh, like 45-ish points to the only 18 of SD, so the lead for FSG is all through lower right now. Lower is just getting hammered on the side of SD. Lockpick doing a great job on central. Pride Lizzie is appears to be relatively even with Josh. So I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Lockpick is definitely beating Riven down on central. And Cry Lizzie maybe will be slightly ahead of Josh, but I don't think that's gonna be enough to offset lower just getting pounded. Where is Riven? You see him suiciding like crazy. He must be getting uh my central spawns. Lockpick gonna assist top briefly. And has he swapped the to top again? What is happening? He has. SD trying to figure out a way to come back here. And Lockpick is back to top. Interesting. Double swap. Double swap early on. Let's just confirm Carlos, you did come back to central. Yeah, he did. I thought may maybe they were going to make a switch lower. I mean, that's their next option, I guess. It's kind of strange. They, they did the swap between Lockpick and Carlos, and then swapped it back. It seemed like they were braiding it back. And they I feel like they could have stuck with that a little bit longer. Lockpick doing everything he can to carry his team here. As he is going to take Josh to town up here. Seven point lead now. What is Cry Lisi? I, I I don't understand. Cry Lisi is top again. I have no idea what's going on. They've swapped again. SD has swapped again for a third time. Crylazy is top now. Again. So Lockpick, I'm assuming, went back to central. Let's confirm. And he has. This is strange. They just keep uh, swapping each other. They're just trying to make something work here. They're only down by 10. Still a lot of time left. See if Lockpick stays top. He did, he suicided. Lockpick is top again. This seems to be a tactical play. I think I understand what they're doing now. If the guy playing central gets this terrible spawn at the back, at the upper stairs back there, they will go to top. The guy top suicides and goes to central. And they just keep rotating back and forth like that. I kind of like that. Because it negates that shitty spawn look that you can get on Central. So I think they're just going to keep rotating with each other based on where they spawn. Seems to be the plan. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Although Lockpick is not left. There's probably Lizzie. Yeah, she, and he suicided. 
This is gonna be hard to really coordinate and make it work well. I like the thought. It's quite interesting. It's gonna be hard to really coordinate. The comms are gonna have to be on point between Crylizzy and Lockpick to make this uh, make this work. Interesting. Some next level strats coming out of SD right here. So we'll see if Lockpick spawns at that backside upper, he's probably gonna go through the top and cry will suicide and try to get a good spawn in central. Seems to be the uh, the play here. That is some tough coordination to make work though. He just got the spawn and he didn't go top though. So maybe they they scrapped that plan as they're they're down by a lot now. They're down by almost 30. What do they do? Looks like Lockpick might just stay central now. Lockpick and Crylizzy doing everything they can. To... Lower is just so demolished. It, 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 it seems like whatever they try can't work. What do you even do? What else can you even try? There's nothing you can really do to stop the bleeding on lower. If you send Logpick or Crylizzy there, then the solos are, are toast, so I don't know. FSG, I think it's gonna head to the finals by the looks of it. Let's watch Butsy again. And they have had an easy time on lower against Flow and Spirit. They almost have 100 points on lower already. And there's still 8 minutes left in the map. That's as one-sided as a point gets. So despite Lockpick, who was dominating top, it's just not enough to offset this. And that's kind of what I thought would happen. Just holding in bunker too. He's not even playing outside. It does seem like they're screwed. There's still a lot of time left. And the lead is not insurmountable yet, but... Yeah. I just don't know what they can do to try to come back. That's the issue. They've tried... They've tried everything they can do, really. The Crylizzy direct swap with Lockpick, and then the spawn... spawn base swapping that they were doing. They got two on central, even. Look at this. See what they're doing, FSG? Furry Man is playing central with Riven. Because Pudsey can hold lower by himself against those two. So now they're gonna win central by... it's over. FSG has won this. Furry Man is just sitting on central with Riven now. As Putsy can just hold inside that bunker just fine. He doesn't need Furry Man over there. So that's a good adjustment by FSG. Yeah, possibly true. Deckel, uh... What did it come down to? Who... So did SD have the final pick after the map elimination? And if so, what were the two maps they had to choose from? It was Lament and what else was the other one? I'm curious. It's a massive lead here. This is the third map. SD1 condemned the first map. FSG winning Olden, which was very close. And they got a 30 point lead here on the men. And it's not particularly close. I mean, what is what else is left to try here? 
The only way they can offset lower is by putting lockpick over there with Fry Lucy. I don't even know what to suggest they could try. I, I can't think of anything. Like, what do you, you put? Put fucking flow and spirit on central, maybe? Have lockpick solo lower and cry Lucy top? I don't even know. I feel like they've already tried every possible switch they can. And it has not worked because lower is just getting hammered. Yeah, 70 efficiency still for Putsy. And the two weapons players not having a fun time on this location. The lead is too great. FSG. Going to advance to the finals. In impressive fashion. Taking out BNG, Ram Drop, and now Log Pick to make it to the finals. Pretty well done. The lead is almost 50 points now, by the way. It's just grown. And you see Furry Man, he's just chilling at Central now. Putsy doesn't even need help on lower. He's been doing that for the past uh, few minutes. It's true, Deco. When they did the first switch, when Lockpick switched with Crylazy to Central and Crylazy went top, they did bring it back. They were within 10 points. But then they started doing this weird super tactical thing where if the central guy spawned at the back stairs upper, he would run to top and the top guy would suicide and hope he would get a good spawn for central and they would just keep rotating like that, which is really interesting, but it's like impossible to coordinate that and make that work properly. And it of course did not work and the lead grew from there and has only gotten worse. Got to appreciate the tactics, though. On paper, that's really intelligent. It's just so hard to make that work. And yeah, they're playing two central, Furry Man and Riven. Putsy is just holding lower by himself. Which he should be able to do. I mean, Spirit is obviously not a high fragging player. And Flo generally is a pretty good fragger, but... If you, if you take Spirit out of the equation, and if you look at straight up 1v1, between Putsy and and Flo here. It's not going to be very even. Lockpick is back on upper, by the way. Was Cry Lizzie up there for the past little while. It's, it's back on central, as we just saw. Watch Lockpick. There's only two minutes left. They're not coming back from this. It is a factor that it, it was not that way uh, all map one. The majority of the map, Furry Man and Putsy were were playing low together. But I think uh, after they had the lead, they did and Lockpick and Cryleasy trying all these swaps. FSG decided just throw Furry Man on Central with Riven to uh, offset those swaps by SD, and that has been beneficial. Still 70 efficiency, by the way, from Putsy. And just over a minute left, and FSG is going to head to the finals. Very solid team now is FSG. Didn't look it in the group stage, but they are a lot better now. And surely the favorite to win the whole cup at this point. I don't think anyone can argue that. Yeah, he has very strange aim. His movement too, I, I, I personally find Putsy very hard to hit. I struggle with his movement a lot.
Only 10 seconds left. Congrats to uh, FSG. They're moving on to the finals. Convincing fashion, too. This is not close here. Well played. 220 frags for Putsy. See lockpick. He had quite a bit of dom points there. He did everything he could. Credlessy as well. But the issue with FSG is they have the most frag power in the cup, and that is hard to deal with. But good games, well played. Congrats to FSG for moving on to the finals. And they're going to be sitting there waiting for a while. As there's a number of matches that have to be played before they find out their opponent. As it will be... Well, SD is going to be waiting for a while too, as... CF has to play against Re, and then the winner of that plays against R, and then the winner of that will finally play against SD, and of course the winner of that will play against uh, FSG in the finals. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, it was a good match. It was fun to cast, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.